cash budgets. Okay, we're looking at a question from your past paper. Uh, we obviously need the answer sheet. Okay, so I'm just going to recreate the answer sheet. Okay, so the answer sheet has a column for opening balance. This is their format. They only have two months. Okay, September, October. See that? Okay, after opening balance, they skip a line, then they write receipts. Then they write cash receipts. Okay, there's a block there. So there's, you need to fill out something there. You need to fill out something there. You need to fill out something here. Oh, no. Yeah, you do. There's blank. I'm looking at your answer. Okay, the 200 isn't obviously there. Okay. Okay, cash receipts. Then credit receipts. Okay. How many lines? One, two, three, four lines. One, two, three, four lines. Okay, then total cash inflow. Okay, then we've got another section, cash outflow. Okay, one, two, three, four, five lines. One, two, three, four, five lines. Let's see if more just in case. Closing balance. That's it, eh? Okay. All right, there's your answer sheet. That's what you were given. And you're probably going to get something similar anyway when you write the paper again or you do your supplementary okay so September October those are the two months that I'm looking at those are very important to consider because they tell you what the scope is does that make sense okay opening balance closing balance okay you can obviously see you didn't do well here hey? okay so out of 20, it didn't go so well. Okay. Let's learn from our mistakes. This is not going to happen again, is it? Okay, no. All right, so you just need to get as many marks as you can from the question. Okay, some of it is easy, some of it is difficult. Okay, but there's always easy marks in every question. Okay, but you need to try to get those marks. All right, so go to the question, let's read it. Question six. You've got a broadcasting company with a new manager deciding to start a budget okay, to help the company control expenses. Okay, they need a new budget. Use the information, construct the budgets for two months, right? September, October. That's what they said in the start. Okay, use the answer sheet on page nine to answer this question. Okay, then they've given you some information. They've given you budgeted figures and they've given you actual figures. You've got July, you've got August, you've got September, you've got October. Okay, when I created my own question, and we did that other one together, what did we say we had to do? Find the earliest month. What's the earliest month? Well, in that question. In this question? July. Good. Okay, so what am I going to do? Write down July. Credit receipts, July. August. September. October. Same thing here at the bottom. Uh, did they split the other one for you? No, they, they didn't split today. Okay, so you've just got to put it in. January, not January, ooh. July, August, September, October. Okay, there you go. Okay. All right, what do we have in the table? Cash services, credit services, direct expenses, indirect expenses. Do you see that? Okay, and these are budgeted figures. So we've got cash and we've got credits. I need to keep track of both. All right, there, there isn't any workings here. What I'm doing here next to it is rough work. Rough work. Okay, additional workings. Okay, this is what you use the spare paper for. Okay, on the spare paper, you write these things down. Okay, or if there's space on the answer sheet, you could even add it to there. Just add an extra column. It's fine. Okay, so I need to add two columns, cash and credits for receipts. 
Okay, these are services, obviously. It's a service business. Cash services, credit services. Okay, do I know what these figures are? Yes, July, 100,000. 100,000, 150, 120, 145. Okay, given in the question, right? Okay, they tell you that what the cash services are. Then they also tell you what the credit services are. 150, 200, 100, 300. Okay, this you can even write on the paper if there's enough space or on a separate working. But you need to know what the cash is and what the credit is because of that split. Okay, what else do they give you? Direct expenses, indirect expenses. Are those payments or receipts? They're expenses. Payments or receipts? They're expenses. Expenses are paid. Do you agree? Okay, so if expenses are paid, it's going to go here at the bottom, right? Okay, so cash flow. I don't think I need the months. So I can actually take them out because they spoke about direct and indirect. Okay, so let's write that down. Direct expenses, indirect expenses. Because it doesn't look like they want you to analyze the purchases. We're going to have to read the question and see what, what else we've got. Okay. okay, so that's what you've got. The direct I'm not going to put in because I don't know what it is. I've got July, August, September, October, and I don't know what the amounts are. Okay, first bullet. Debtors are collected as follows. 70% in the month following the sale. 20% two months following the sale. 10% as irrecoverable. Do I care about the irrecoverable? No, I don't. Irrecoverable means... Bad debt, credit loss. Okay, that's a non-cash item, so ignore it. Okay, the first two things are important, though. Okay, so let's go look at this. What are they talking about? Debtors. So are they looking at cash or credit? Correct. Okay, they say in the question, 70% in the month following the month of the sale. So when did I sell the service? In July, when am I going to collect? In August. In August. Is August part of the budget? Yes. No. September and October. Okay. Still looking at July. 20% is collected two months after the sale. What month is that? September. Okay. It's September. August is month one, September is month two. September part of the budget. Yes. So how much do you collect there? 20%. That's where the 30,000 comes from. See that? Line by line by line. Makes sense. Okay, you do this one. Talk to me about this one. Tell me what's happening. Yes. Line August. How much did you sell on credit? Um, I sold 200,000. Okay, tell me how you're going to collect it. Um, times when? On September. Correct. Okay, the question said 70% in the month following the sale. So if I sell in August, when do I collect? In September. 70% of this is correct. There you go. See, and these things carry marks, so you would have, you'd be getting marked as you go. Okay. Carry on. Still looking at August. When do I collect the rest? I collect another 20% when? In October. Good. Second month following the sale. If I'm looking at August, month number two is? October. How much do I collect here? Twenty percent of what? Correct, two hundred thousand. Got that? Got that? Okay. September, you do it.
What are we going to do for September? Think about it. What does the question say? When do you collect 70%? Good. So what, what is the month of the sale? It's, it's the month of the sale. Yeah, we're looking at this line, aren't we? We're not looking at July. We finished July. Okay, we're looking at line by line by line. July we did. August we did. Next line, September. Okay, so September is going to in October. Yes. How much? Correct. What happens to the next bit? Do I collect the rest? The 20% I collect when? Uh, the 20% you collect in Yeah, so what's the second month? The second, second month is November. Correct. Is November part of the budget? Yeah. Don't need it. Carry on. October. Tell me about this one. Next line. October. Credit uh, sales or services. 300,000. When do I start collecting? Do I want it? No. no November is not part of the budget. That's it. The end. Okay. Next bullet. 50% of direct expenses are on credit and are paid in the month following the purchase. The remainder is paid in the month they occur. Got that one. Okay. So this one we need to consider. I actually need more space because I need December, January. Uh, I'm going to add more space just to show workings. You don't have to show workings, but I'm showing workings to make you understand it better. Okay, so I'm going to copy paste all these months. We'll do it for all four. Okay, so I'm looking at direct expenses. Do you see that? Okay. They say... 50% of direct expenses. Oh, let's add them in actually. Okay, so what were my direct expenses for July? 115. August? 100. Then 160. And then 200. Okay, indirect expenses, it was 50. See, this I would be doing on my separate working paper, my rough paper. Okay, just to show the calculation. Uh, September, what is it? 28. And 35 again. Okay, so those are direct expenses. That's what they give you in the question. It's literally in the question. Okay, so we just read it. Let's read it again. 50% of direct expenses are on credits. Okay, so cash and credits. They said 50% is cash and credit, right? So half, half. Do you agree? Divide by two for all. Makes sense. Okay. Then read it again. 50% of direct expenses are on credit and are paid in the month following the month of the purchase. Okay. So let's look at this. When do we pay this? July we pay in August. Is August part of the budget? Yeah. No, don't need July. Do we need August? Yes. yes, we pay it in September. Do I need September? Yes, yes I pay it in October. That's it. Okay. And then they say the remainder is paid in the month they occur. So that means the rest they pay in the month that they occur, which is the cash. Okay, that's just the cash purchase. All right, so July will be paid in July. August will be paid in August. September will be paid in September. October will be paid in October. Okay, um, maybe we should actually add those figures, but we can't here. Um, you'd have to add it as an additional amount. Um, I'm going to show that here at the bottom. Okay, so what else would I have here? Uh, September and October, hey? There's September's cash 
and there's October's cash. Okay, this is the credits. Maybe you just use a different color for this one. It looks like the credit parts. Okay. Right, next line. Indirect expenses are all paid in cash. Okay, that's an easy one. Okay, indirect expenses are all paid in cash. So where am I going to put the figures? July I pay when? In July. They say indirect expenses are all paid in cash. So July's indirect expenses will be paid in July. August uh, expenses will be paid in? August. Okay, which months am I looking at? September and October. Okay, so September will be paid in September. October will be paid in October. That's it. Okay, next line. Salaries. Two office workers will receive 40000 each in September paid in cash. Okay, so we need to... Um, okay, these are my workings. I'm just going to add here. Maybe just a suggestion. Because you have an answer sheet and you have um, folio paper, write on the folio paper and do all your workings like this and then just take your workings to the answer sheets. Okay, because then you'll have everything. What I have in this column, see, all the stuff in the blue column, that's what I want. All the stuff in the other columns is workings. Okay. See, sometimes I need to do more working, sometimes I don't, I don't have to do any. It just depends. Okay, how difficult is the question? Okay. All right, so I'm adding lines here just to do more workings. Salaries and wages. Okay. Two office workers receiving 40000 each in September. Is September part of the budget? Yes. How much do you put here? No. Why? That's what they said, right? Read carefully. Salaries, two office workers will receive 40000 each. There's the key word, each. Okay, so it's 2 times 40,000. Okay, next. Depreciation, do we care about it? Not in a cash budget. Don't need it, move on. Cross it out. A tax payment of 100,000 in October. Is October part of the budget? Yes. Tax paid. Where do you put it? Exactly. See, these two are easy. You don't have to do anything. Okay. Even if you can't do the other stuff, which is more difficult, which just takes practice. Okay, you'll get there eventually if you just keep practicing. Okay. Those two you can definitely get. Right? Those are payments that you can put in the payment side. You just read it and put it in. Do you agree? Okay, you shouldn't lose those marks. Okay. Next. Cash in the bank on the 30th of August is 200,000. This is 30th of August. How does August relate to September? Perfect. It's up here. Opening balance. Did they mark that? Where's your... Where's your um, oh, they did mark it, I see. Okay, there's a, there's a line there. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, it's very untidy marking, eh? But anyway. I wonder who marked this, yeah. Okay. Okay, but anyway. They gave you that. That was part of the question. Okay, so that's the opening balance that you've got. That's perfect. Okay, good. All right, was there anything else? Go back to the question. No, there wasn't. That's it. Okay, so... Have a look. This is my workings. Now, if I had to take this, and if I had to redo it, so that I could have done on a separate page, okay? 
And then, because I want my answer to be perfect, I'm then just going to take there. Um, so, these lines I wouldn't have to put in. That line I wouldn't have to put in. Oh, what was that figure now? Deleted the number. Let's go up there, that figure. Okay. Uh, this line I won't need. Both lines I won't need. That line I won't need. Okay. Delete those lines. Okay, so, yeah, I don't really like the format. The format's not so great, eh? But you've got to work with what you've been given, unfortunately. Okay, and then just totals there. Okay. Cash flow. Okay, I need to move this up. I wrote it on the wrong line there. Okay, so... Uh, let's go up to the top. Opening balance, you had that. Receipts, that's the heading. Cash receipts, that's easy. What do you do? Sum up. Add up all of that. Add up all of that. Got that. Okay, so total cash flow. Uh, there was, oh, there was cash. So we need to add the cash. Okay, we need to add an, a one line here. Cash services. Okay, for September, September. For October, October. Okay, those are the cash. Okay, so total cash flow. The total cash flow is going to be these two figures added together. It'll be the cash services plus your receipts from your debtors. Okay, so it'll be this plus that. Okay, October here you could even delete. You don't need that line. Okay, cash services, cash services, uh, cash services, this one. Okay, all right, so this one plus that one. Okay, because remember, your answer sheet had less lines. Your answer sheet only had four lines. There's my four lines. Okay, here at the bottom, my answer sheet only has one, two, three, four lines. How many, how many lines do they give you? Six lines. Uh, where's the answer sheet now? Oh, here's it. One, two, three, four. They gave you five lines. I've got one. Uh, these two you could probably put on the same line because they're direct expenses. Okay, those two you could put on the same line because they're direct expenses. Those two you can put on the same line because they're direct expenses. So that'll be one line, two, three, four lines. Okay, they, they gave you enough space. Okay, if I, if I had to give you an answer sheet, I would have given you a lot more lines. Okay, don't be afraid to... Um, separate the lines. Those lines look big. Okay, so you can maybe even draw with a pencil and 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 uh, and halve them, and then you'll have more lines. Then you could even do it like I did it up here. Okay, then you don't have to do it separate. But it's up to you. Okay, if you want to use this, maybe just add more lines for yourself if there is enough space. If not, just work it out separately. Okay, and this would be my answer. So I've got the first part. That the first part's right there. Receipt section, done. Let's highlight that in green. Okay. Then I need the payment section. Let's highlight this in red. Okay. Uh, I've got all these expenses. I need to work out the outflow. Did they give you a line item for total outflow? See, they didn't. Okay, they didn't give you a total line. So then I would just use this one. Do you see they're missing a total line, hey? Okay, then I would use this one. Okay, I would just sum up. Add up everything. Add up everything. Okay. So now you've got total inflow. You've got outflow. You've got opening balances. And you've got closing balances. Yeah, that's the last thing I need to do. Okay, so opening balance. Is the opening balance going to go up or down with the inflow? It's going to go up. And then it's going to go up or down with the outflow? Outflow. It's going to go down. Okay, so to get the closing balance, I started with 200. I'm going to add what came in. 
and I'm going to subtract what went out. Do you see that? Okay. Ooh, bad business, eh? Negative cash flow. Okay, bank overdraft. You want to know what a bank overdraft is? Spending more money than you have. Because now your account goes into overdraft. Now you owe the bank instead of the bank owing you. Okay, this is the closing balance for September, which will be the opening balance for October. Makes sense. Okay, is this a good month? Doesn't look like it. A big negative balance. Add what came in minus what went out. Oh, it's even bigger. Shame. This business is struggling. Okay. Uh, unless these are these cash amounts right, I think these cash amounts are too big. Cash five hundred thousand. That looks massive for direct expenses. Um, it should be half of this, a hundred thousand. Oh, I said times five. That's a typo. It should have been divide by two. Oh, it was, it was times. It was times fifty percent. Okay, I said times five. I, I forgot to put the zero comma five. Okay, no wonder there's a typo there. That's better. It's half. Okay, if the direct expense of that is half, it needs to be half of it. Okay, because these numbers look huge. Okay, see here, same thing. Times 0.5. Sorry, I typed it in wrong. Okay, so if those figures update, uh, it's still negative anyway, so it's still bad. Okay. It just made the numbers a bit smaller. All right, so opening balance. Add what came in minus what went out. Closing balance. Pro opening balance. Add what came in minus what went out. Negative. Okay, negative cash flow, bank overdraft, credit needed to operate. Okay, this is not looking good. Okay, this business is going to struggle. Okay, this business needs debt. If they can't get money from the bank, they're going to stop operating sometime soon. Okay, because the outflow okay is bigger than the inflow okay which is concerning because they've got all these expenses all right does that make sense okay all right and that's what you would have shown as your answer for this question okay obviously these are workings that's what they wanted to see they wanted to see these amounts okay that's what they wanted to see they wanted to see those amounts okay all right Let's save that. Another question.